Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Miguel. How's everything? Good evening. Good evening, Elizabeth. Good evening. Ah, uh, good evening, Miss. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, I already contacted a, a person. Uh, Elizabeth, I, I send a text message. Uh, luego me van a dar información sobre la situación, okay? Okay, okay también. Muchas gracias. Yeah, man. All right, no problem. And I will let you know y ahí le, ahí le voy a notificar que me, me, me comentan. Porque está raro, ¿no? A mí no me aparece ningún tipo de información más que la que usted proveo, la, la que usted dio, básicamente, de, de, de cómo estaba. All right, so, I don't know what happened there, pero voy a investigar y la voy a mantener al tanto. Ok. Ok, thank you. All right, ok, good. So, how was your weekend, people? How was everything? Was it good, bad, relaxing? You work, do you generally work on weekends? Or no? No. No? I mean, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Good evening, mm -hmm. Isabel. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess most of you don't generally uh, work during the weekend, right? So, si trabajan, supongo que algunos eh, lo hacen hasta el mediodía, nada más, en la set. All right, but that's cool. That's really cool. Good to have you here. Welcome to this video conference number four. Uh, tonight we're gonna bring, we're gonna uh, talk about a very interesting topic, which is going to be kind of easy for you because we continue, you know, with talking about the different ways of uh, simple present. So tonight we are going to be talking about the negative forms of a simple present. So it's going to be a very practical and interesting class for you guys. But before starting with that, I'm going to pass the attendance list. I think it is, it is time to do it. So just give me one second. Okay, Ana Carmina. Is it Carmina here already? No, okay, so she's not here yet. Augusto Cesar. No, okay, so he's not here yet. Carlos Ernesto. Mm -hmm. Not yet, okay. Elizabeth Joanna. Present. Okay, good. Evelyn Jamilet. Present. Okay, perfect. Fredis Eliseo. Present teacher. Okay, good. Let's see. Freddy Ernesto. All right, this person is not here. Iris Daniela. Present. Okay, thank you. Let's try to move. Uh, Jacqueline Janet. Okay, not here. Karim Janet. Present. Ah, okay, good. You're here. Uh, Liliana Laura. Is it here, Liliana? Okay, no here yet. Maria Isabel. Present. Ah, okay, good. Maria Leticia. Present teacher. Okay, good. Marvin Oswaldo. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Okay, Rafael Alejandro. Rafael is here. Okay. Not yet. Rudy Alexander. 
present teacher. Okay, thank you. Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. All right. Good evening. Good evening. I am in Anna, you're here. Okay, good. Wilber Francisco. Uh, present teacher. Okay. And we got the last one, Wilson Arnaldo. Which is not here. Okay, so I'm just gonna add Anna because she is here already. All right, guys. So uh, we are going to start with tonight's class, uh, but before doing that, um, as always, as we have been doing in the previous classes, we are going to do a short feedback, okay? So we're going to uh, bring up what do you really remember about the last class, okay? What was the topic that we were discussing, okay? And we were providing examples. Do you guys remember the topic from last class? What was the last topic that we were discussing? Did you remember any volunteer, algún voluntario? ¿Cuál fue el último tema que estuvimos discutiendo en la clase pasada? The use, how many, how much? Ah, okay, very good. The uses of how many and how much. Okay, good. Uh, okay, algún otro voluntario que me diga when do we use how many? How many sería de cantidad, teacher? All right. How Count much the... de cuánto? Ajá, lo que cuesta algo. Ah, okay. Algo Good. que se puede contar. Okay. Y how much es algo que no se puede contar. Okay, there you go. If you remember, thank you, thank you. If you remember, estuvimos hablando sobre, eh, más que todo con how much, sobre el uso de los precios, right? Uh, prices of things. Algo con lo que sencillamente pueden ustedes identificar en una oración eh, o en un ejercicio. Eh, básicamente lo que tienen que dirigirse es por el nombre. ¿En qué aspecto? El nombre. El nombre que se coloca o el noun que se coloca justo después de how much y how many. Recuerden que después de how many, un nombre está obligado a estar en plural. All right? Puesto que how many significa cuántos o cuántas. Remember, right? So, no voy a hablar de una computadora y voy a decir how many, right? Because it doesn't make sense even in Spanish. No puedo decir en español igual cuántas computadoras. All right, with uh, referring to one computer. Now it has to be how many computers, right? And then the rest of the question uh, that you might have. But in that case, remember, all right? You can ask questions like that. Otra cosa, en la respuesta, ahí sí. Usted puede dar una respuesta tanto plural como también singular. Porque si yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, a Rafa. Hey, Rafa, how many computers do you have? So, probablemente Rafa me dice, I have one computer. So, you see, entonces, no necesariamente la respuesta tiene que ser plural. Ok, dependiendo de la cantidad, entonces, uh, ahí se va, se va a ver si, if it is singular, only one thing, or plural. Ok, yeah, but remember, with how much, it was mostly related to prices, ok, with prices. That was uh, basically what we were discussing uh, last class and we were bringing uh, so many you know uh, things just for that okay and keeping up with that if you remember guys we had a short conversation in there that we did not practice because of the time right si recuerdan inclusive teníamos una pequeña conversación ahí que no logramos practicar Debido pues a que estábamos eh, dando una further explanation over there. So, uh, I wish we could start working with that and then, you know, move on with the next topic that we are going to be discussing for the rest of the class. So, that's what we are just going to be doing right now. I'm going to share the screen 
and shows up the conversation I am talking about. It's on page, on page 16 from your manual. All right? Para los que ya tienen el manual eh, impreso, ok, es página 16, o los que lo tienen en PDF, right, uh, page 16. Les aconsejaría para los que, los que eh, no lo tienen impreso y, y se les dificulta un poco usar eh, la computadora o el celular, que impriman nada más las páginas que puedan, que puedan, que vamos a utilizar a futuro, por así decirlo, eh, en cuanto al manual. Y así se les haría un poco más fácil el, el, el elaborar las actividades, all right, at the moment of doing them. Just, just a, a, as advice, you know. But if you are okay with the PDF on a computer, that's perfect, all right? It's not going to be any problem. Okay, what are we going to do with this information? Ahora bien, ya que tenemos en claro cuándo usar, how much, and how many, all right, uh, I would like to practice the short conversation that we got in here, okay? Vamos a darle un poco de práctica a esta conversación que no lo hicimos. We just read about that, but we did not practice it. So we're going to do it right now with that. Vamos a hacer como parte de la retroalimentación. All right. So what it says in here. Listen. Listen to your teacher. Read the conversation. Then it says practice with a partner. That's what we are about to do. And this is a conversation between Ben and Jeff. Okay, and Ben says, Jeff, how are you doing? How are you doing? I want to ask you, listen, I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? How many days a week? Do you work? It says Jeff. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. Well, I work five days a week. And you? And you? It says Ben. That's great. That's Great. I work four weekdays. I work four weekdays. Okay. And sometimes on Saturdays. And sometimes on Saturdays. It says, Jeff, really? Really? On Saturdays? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? Do you work extra hours? And how much money? And how much money do they pay? Do they pay? For each extra hour. For each extra hour. It says Ben. Yes. I work extra hours. I work extra hours. When there is. When there is. Too much work to do. Too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. It says Jeff. I see. I see. Well, sometimes. Sometimes there is not much time, right? Sometimes there is not much time, right? And Mario says, I mean, in here, este es un pequeño uh, mistake uh, del manual. 
Aquí debería de ser Ben, ok? Keep that on mind. Absolutely. It says. Right, give me one second. Absolutely. Ok, good. From this conversation that you got in here, people, do you have any question with the vocabulary in the conversation? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación al vocabulario, algo que no sepamos? ¿O alguna pronunciación que no estemos muy familiarizados? Me gustaría que aclaráramos esto antes de irnos a una pequeña práctica con la conversación. All right? If it is something that may have you troubles with, just let me know. Teacher, disculpe, ¿en qué parte yes. mencionó de la conversación en donde dice Ben? Donde se debe de, de decir Ben. Ah, no, 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 no. Es, es acá, que acá pusieron Mario, pero en realidad es Ben. Here. No, pero eso, eso no afecta ahí. Ah, es okay, lo último, gracias. donde dice absolutely. Yeah. All right. That's no problem with that. Okay. Everything okay with the pronunciation from that conversation? Okay. Debo suponer que todo está claro. Everything is okay. All right. So, uh, now I want to know si los de que están con cámara apagada, me gustaría saber si están ahí, si podemos practicar, porque no los quiero here, mandar teacher, a un here, here. Ok, here. Cool. no los quiero mandar I a un breakout room. Y, y, y pues, ajá, no vamos a estar ahí. Uh, let me see. Uh, it here, is. Teacher. Ok, perfect. Well, where it is Daniela. Ok, Augusto is there, right? It is Daniela. Okay. Eh, Diana, are you there? Okay. Mm, Liliana, I just want to confirm if you're there. Mm, I guess she is there, but pero creo que tiene el audio desactivado. So she cannot speak, so neither she can listen. Okay, so it's just going to be 16, 15 people. Yes. Ah, she's getting connected. Okay, so while she gets connected, I'm just going to uh, place up the groups. Give me one second, or the purse in this case. Ahora voy a crear los breakout rooms. Just give me one second. Uh, so, gonna be nice now. Liliana is no longer working out here. So, I'm gonna send this person to number seven and Karen. Give me one second, people. I'm just doing a modification over here. Okay, number six. Okay, good. So it's 8.19. 8.25, we're going to come back from the breakout room, okay? Good. Let's accept it in there and let's go to practice. All right, démosle aceptar ahí, por favor. So we can go to the practice. Augusto, you there? I'm going to send this person over here. Okay. No, no, no. 
¿Me escuchas, Marvin? Yo sí, yo sí le... ¿Me Te escuchas escucho entrecortado. Ahora? Entrecortado. Uh, ¿Y ahora? Mm, I listen to you. Yeah, now I listen to you. Marvin, do you listen to him? Hello, Marvin. Creo que usted me escucha, teacher. Yes. Yes. Uh, creo que sí él era el que tenía problemas de exactly so we're just bueno. gonna wait for a couple of minutes for him okay. teacher what happened with the discussion in the web page no apareció it didn't appear uh, yo lo yo me metí hoy no 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 encontré nada no me diga que no se no se publicó give me one second I'm gonna check that. But I did it. Give me one second. ¿Qué tal el calor por allá, Oh, horrible. <laughs> horrible, man. Aquí eso está. Está bien. Okay, right now está, bueno, no está tan, 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 pero está como 26 grados ahorita. Con... Sí. Sí, bueno, suele ponerse a 30, ah, suele ponerse a 37 por las mediodías. No, en las mediodías, yo en la noche ah, baja como a, baja como a 22 más o menos últimamente ha estado un poco fresco en la mañana. Ok. Ok, aquí viene Marvin otra vez, vamos a ver, 7. A ver si se conecta, me va a sacar. No, he didn't get... Oh, my God. Me no le carga. No, me parece... No, eh, creo que no, él no. Ah, he's coming. Ahí está. Yeah, he's coming. Marvin, can you listen to us now? Ahora sí nos escucha. Tiene el micrófono apagado, Marvin. <ríe> Sí, no sé qué problema tengo porque viene, viene una gran interferencia que se ve. Todo con no, recortado. De verdad. Es bien. Sí. Pero nosotros te escuchamos, claro. Ok. De primero, a ver qué problema vi. Bueno, practiquemos. Entonces, ok. Bien. Let's go then. All right. Les dejo okay. entonces. Dele. Allá, ve. I see. Well. Sometimes there is not much time, right? No, no, no. Absolutely. <laughs> Me perdí por un momento. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Teacher, eh, tengo, tengo una, creo que mala pronunciación en la... Which one? Eh, sí. <laughs> Donde dice, se lo voy a decir, yes, okay. I, work, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. H extra, es each o H? Each, each. Each, each mm -hmm. extra hour. Hour. Mm -hmm. Hour is around $10. Está bien, entonces, each. Yes, yes. Okay. Esa era, yo decía H. <laughs> Sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Sí, creo que sale la, la que no sabía si la decía bien. Ah, okay. Yeah. Good. Let's keep up practicing. I need to see all the groups, okay? Okay. How are you going? Uh, have you been practicing? Ah, ok, so you have practiced. Ok, solo necesito revisar dos grupos más y luego volvemos, ok? 
Nice. Okay, nice. Teacher. There you go. And sometimes. Really, on Saturday, do you work extra hours? And how much money do do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around. Seven. I see. And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when, when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So you have been practicing enough, right? Okay. Okay, so we're going to go back and you're going to tell me that uh, conversation in the main class. Okay, why do I have the camera off? Okay, good. Okay. So let's go back. All right, see you there. Okay, good. So I'm gonna share the, 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 the manual in the conversation. There you go. So who's wh who wants to be the first one? Quien quiere ser el primer la primer pareja voluntaria? Vamos a hacer de manera voluntaria. Any volunteer? Letty. Come on. Where's Letty? Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's go. Um, Ben o Jeff? Eh, ben. <laughs> ben. Va. Ok. Me. Jeff. Jeff. How are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey. Well, I work five days a week and you? That's right. I work for weekdays. And sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you they do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours. When there is too much work to do, each extra hours, it around ten dollar. I see. Well. Sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, very Absolutely. good. Thank you, Letty, and thank you, uh, Rafa. Okay, good. Who wants to put the next one? Okay, good. Who are you working with? Rudy uh, is Ben. <laughs> ah, okay, good, good. Uh, give me one second, give me one second. Uh, um, Evelyn, you want to say something? Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. ¿Quería decir algo, Evelyn? Mm, quería participar. Pero yo ah. creo que ya está la pareja. Okay, uh, right after Miguel, you're going, okay? Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four week days. And some day on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. 
Okay, there you go. Cool. Thank you for your participation, guys. You did it excellent. Now, Evelyn, now your turn. Yes. I think cool. you were with Isabel, right? Yes. Okay, yes. let's go. Okay, ¿tú se yo soy bien? Perfecto. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well I work five days a week and you? That's great. I work four with days and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you do they play for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, there you go. Thank you for your participation, Isabel and Jamilet. Now, who wants to be the next one? I'm going to give you the chance, people. Everybody's going to participate, so you better say me. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. It goes Elizabeth. All right, who you? La licenciada who? Carmina. Okay. okay, there you go. Um, yo soy Jeff. Okay. Uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's right. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do in extra hour in around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, uh, Anna. You did it excellent. Nice. Okay. Who wants to be the next one? The ones that are missing. Okay, Elizabeth. Hi. Solo que no me acuerdo el nombre con el que me tocó. Eh, ok. Eh, wasn't it Freddy? Freddy. Freddy is right. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, yes, Jeff. Yeah. How are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekdays um, sometime on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours. When there is so much work to do, each extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, Sometimes there's not much time. Absolutely. Mm, okay, there you go. Thank you. Thank you to you both. Nice people, you did it excellent. Let me see, who's next? Ta, 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 ta. Karim, who were you working with? Me tocó con Iris Daniela. Ah, okay, good. Where is Iris? Ah, she's there. Okay. Let's go. Uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? 
Hey, hey Ben. Well, I work five days a week in you. That way, I work for with day and sometime on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. It's extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, very good. Thank you, Karim, and thank you, uh, Daniela. All right, good. But uh, is someone that is missing? Let me see. Is something missing in here? Uh, I think everybody has already participated. I am, and it's missing one person that she just got connected. Hi, Liliana. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Ya no, ya, no recono, ya no la reconocía como no había encendido la cámara, solo decía Liliana Polillo. Yo, ¿Quién es Liliana Polillo? ¿Será nueva? ¿Es she new? Because I just got, the thing is that I just got accustomed to your, to your names. I mean, <laughs> okay, good. So your, your classmates have been talking and discussing about this conversation, okay? So. I want you to practice the conversation as your classmates. So I don't know if you want to take the role of Ben or Jeff. Choose one. Liliana, okay. do, I mean, do, you, do you want to be Ben or Jeff from the um, conversation? Yeah. Um, I want to see. Yeah. Estaba viendo cuál tenía más poquito. No, así lo okay. digo. No, 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 no. Okay, good. So I'm going I'm, I'm to help you out to participate, okay? It says, uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week in you. That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work ex extra hours in how much money? Do they pay for each extra hours? All right. Pay for each extra hour. Okay. Pay. So it says, Ben, uh, yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, I sometimes there is no much time right. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, good. Thank you for your participation, Liliana. And uh, qué bueno que ya se, ya se le restableció el servicio. Hay buena asistencia. <laughs> okay. Sí, le quito problemas. All right, but the good thing is that you, you fix them all, all right? So that's, that's, that's the good thing. Okay, so this is going to be the last thing that we're going to be working on, guys, related to this topic, okay? It says, instructions. Read the sentences and fill in the blanks with many or much. It means how many or how much, okay? Good. So I'm going to read the first one, and I want you to help me up to give an answer to these questions, okay? Check this out. It says, money is in a bank. Is it how much or how many? How many? How many? How much? How much? How, how much? much? How much? Okay. Okay. All right. How much? Why? Porque la palabra money, remember, es algo incontable. Algo que no podemos contar. Okay. Good guys. Now, podrían hacerme las demás? Recuerden, recuerden, después de la, de la, después de la línea, 
palabra que está en plural, palabra que se va a poner con how many, ¿ok? And then the ones with the uncountable nouns are the ones that are in singular. Ok, when you finish, let me know. Eso se ve cuando hayan terminado. Okay, perfect. perfect, perfect. Let's esperar a los compañeros just to see if they are uh, good with this. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Finish. Okay, good, good. Okay, I guess most of you have already finished and I'm just gonna wait for one more minute and then we're gonna continue. Okay, so I guess most of you have already finished. So let's start checking this, this, these things. Uh, let me see who, Isabel, can you please help me read number two? Yes, and uh, how much? Okay, how let much? me pregunta completa. Okay, how much paper does a print need? All right. Uh, ¿Todos tienen esta? ¿Todos tienen how much o hay alguien que tenga how many? Yes. Yes. How many? I have how many. How many? I have how many. Ok, how es many? que me, me confundieron. Yo pensé cuando me decían yes, no, 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 no sabía si era que habían puesto how much o how many. But that's cool. Yeah. In this case, uh, give me one second. Dijeron how many? Yes, teacher. Why? It's how much. Because it's uh, paper third person. Is Listen. Uh, no. Related uh, to, to, to this, uh, la singular. palabra, la, the, the word paper actually is singular. It's uncountable. En español nosotros podemos decir un papel, dos papeles. Dos páginas. Uh, you say pages. 
but not paper. Ah, okay. <laughs> exactly. So in that case, how much? How much in this case? Okay. So she's correct me here. How much paper does a printer need? Okay. Good. Now, uh, let's see. Redis, give me number three, please. Help me out reading. Yes. How many hours a day do you work? How many? Uh, how many? Do everybody have how many? Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, okay, very good. Yes. In here, yeah, it is how many. Porque tenemos la palabra hours and it is with S. You see? So that's plural. So in that case, yeah, I mean, it's, it's countable, right? Cuantas horas. Good. Now, next one. Marvin, could you please help me on reading number four? Yeah, how much? I'm going to write it down over here what you said. How much? How much? How much? Does everybody have how much? One inch. Yes. 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 yes, teacher. Very good. Yeah. How much is with the word information? The word information is uncountable. Remember, no podemos contar, right? La palabra información. Good. Next one. Uh, 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 uh. Termina. Right, number five. Uh, how many days was do you work? And I write it down. How oh, many? Okay, very good. If everybody got that one, I mean that one, yeah, it is correct. How many days? You got the word days, so that's the key, right? So that's plural. So that that makes uh, the word countable. Good. And we have the last one. Miguel, right number six. How many employees does your company have? Okay, esta palabra, this word, sería employees. Employees. Employees que significa empleados, okay? This one means empleados. O sea, todos nosotros, right? Okay, so in this case, it's like how many? Because it is countable. Very good people, so you got it. Perfect. Just, we have already done that very perfectly. Thank you. Now, so I'm gonna stop with this thing, okay? I'm gonna stop sharing this part because I do really want to show you uh, the presentation related to the topic that we are going to be discussing now. Okay, as I said, tonight's topic is going to be like very interesting because it's something that you uh, handle, something that you already know. And this is the topic. Check this out. Give me one second. Good. Okay, me confirman que pueden ver la pantalla bien. Pues. Yes. Yes. Sí, yes. Slides. Okay, good. There you go. So tonight's topic is going to be simple present negative statements. Okay, so this is going to be the topic that we're going to be discussing. If you remember the first topic that we were discussing, it was just about what? It was about the simple present, but positive statements, using positive statements. But now we're going to start off with this one and we're going to have a short practice. Uh, and you're going to give me examples related to this. We're going to go deeper with the uses of negative forms using the simple present. Okay, so let's go over it. What's the most relevant that we got in the class agenda? Well, I mean, for the rest of the class. All right, so we got the review from the previous class. 
algo que ya pues eh, hemos hecho. And now we're going to go into the simple present negative statements and first person and plural. Aquí vamos a dividir los usos de, de lo, la, las formas negativas del presente simple. Y los vamos a dividir en primera persona y plurales. Ok. Para poder eh, llevar todo en orden y pues no se me vayan a confundir. Para luego que. Then we're going to work on simple present negative statements but using her person. Singular, okay? So this is going to be like what we are going to be discussing for the rest of the class. And at the end, of course, we're going to do a couple of exercises in the manual. That is going to be, you know, uh, as part of the activity that we got. So let's go over this. Simple present negative statements. We're going to start over when we use do not as part of you know, like uh, negative expressions. And what is the most important part that you have to remember people or you have to memorize? In this case, if you want to create in a correct way, in a correct way, sentences that are negatives, you have to keep in mind that there is an, a structure, there is an, a specific a structure for this type of you know like a uh, tense and this is the structure that you generally need to remember in order to create negative statements and the, the structure is you got subject okay you got the subject plus do remember do in this case is an auxiliary verb, okay? It's not a verb, auxiliary verb, all right? Recuerden que en este caso do es un verbo auxiliar. Es un verbo que no tiene traducción acá, okay? Just keep that in mind. So right after do, you got plus not, okay? So you got do not to create the negative plus Main verb, okay, main verb. And then we got what? We got a complement. Okay, so we got a complement over here. There you go. So how this, the, this thing work? It works like this. Check this out. We're gonna start off with very simple uh, sentences. This one is following up the structure. Esta es una oración negativa formal. ¿Por qué formal? Porque aquí no estamos creando ningún tipo de contracción al momento de la, de, 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 de la escritura. Ok. So, and it says, I do not play soccer. All right. I do not play soccer. So what are we doing in this case? So basically <coughs> in here, what we are doing is just to put the structure in context using, you know, what we got in here. There you go. Now let's move. Okay. Let's say this one. Uh, Evelyn, help me out reading. You don't have day off. Okay. You don't have a day off. Okay. Good. Guess on day off. What is a day off? <coughs> Dia libre. Okay. Very good. Dia libre. All right. So th th those ones are uh, uh, vocabulary that you need to put in practice. Okay. Like a day off. You know that this one is, and what is this one? And this one? Is extra hour, is over time, uh, tiempo extra, o extra tiempo, extra hora, hora over, extra. Over, hora time, extra, hora extra. over time es lo mismo que extra hours. Solo que ya reducido en una sola palabra. ¿Ok? 
that, that's vocabulary that you need to remember, okay? So if you work overtime, significa que hace extra hours, okay? okay. Good. Let's move. Okay, check this one out. Uh, Ruby, help me out reading this one. We do not work on Sundays. Ah, okay, very good. We do not work on Sundays, it says. Okay, if you take a look in there, people, what do we generally have? Listen. If you want to go over the grammar part, se van a dar cuenta de que acá yo tengo contractado el do y el not. Y, ten, y tengo don't. Ese es el método más sencillo de poder crear oraciones negativas, right? Pero este es un tanto menos formal. Recuerden, acá es más formal. Este de arriba es menos formal, right? So it is informal. The one that we got in here, okay? So, but it's basically the same thing, okay? It, it, it works this, with the same function, all right? If I say, uh, we do not work on Sundays, I mean, no trabajamos los domingos, también we don't work on Sundays, all right? No trabajamos los domingos. So, it's basically the same thing. All right, good. Something else that you got to remember in here. Uh, if I ask uh, Rafa, En esta oración que tenemos acá, ¿cuál es el verbo principal? Um, principal is work. Work. Okay, there you go. Work. That's the main word that you got over there. All right. Perfect. Liliana, what about uh, this one? Sobre esta oración, Play. ¿cuál es el verbo? Okay. Play. ¿Cómo vamos a identificar el verbo principal? Recuerden. Eso ya lo, lo dijimos antes. El verbo principal básicamente va a estar después del verbo auxiliar. Si este es el verbo auxiliar agregado con un negativo, que en este caso es not, lo que le sigue es el verbo. ¿Ok? Y básicamente ahí lo tenemos también ya explícito en la estructura. Subject, que puede ser cualquier pronombre o nombre propio. All right. Luego el do, que es el auxiliar, y luego el not, que ya aquí el do not ya está haciendo la función del negativo. Y luego lo que le sigue es el main verb o verbo principal. Ya luego el complemento, que pues, ¿para qué nos sirve el complemento? Para hacer más específica la oración sobre qué estamos hablando. Ok, good, that's it. Porque una cosa es que digamos, we do not work... Está correcto. We do not work or we don't work. No trabajamos. Pero lo que hace más específico esta oración es el complemento acá. On Sunday. Y ahí lo está haciendo más específico. Y está diciendo que no trabajamos los domingos. Ok. Good. So I guess this one is pretty clear for you guys. It is, it is getting very clear. So we're going to move on with another example. Ah. Uh, Elizabeth Catota, can you please help me out reading this one? They don't practice practice English. Ah, okay, very good. They don't practice English. So you see, this is another one that we got over here. And uh, if you take a look at here, we got pronouns like I, we got you, we got we, and we got they. All right. These ones are, remember, first person and plurals, plurals, okay? That's something that you have to remember. Good. So in here, I can even add words like, acá inclusive eh, podemos escribir eh, nombres propios uh, creando un plural. How come? For example, if I say Maria and uh, who? Wilbur, for example. You see, in this case, I am mentioning two people. Maria and Wilbur. So that becomes in a plural form. All right? Don't. You see? 
Aquí ya básicamente estoy uniendo el do plus not, ¿ok? Don't. Ok, let's see. María y Wilbur don't watch. Check this out. Movies, for example. Ah, you see? María y Wilbur don't watch movies. Don't, remember, sería el auxiliar más el negativo. And then watch, aquí ya sería el verbo principal. All right? And movies, ya sería lo que es el complement in a sentence. Good. So, entonces, ahí ya tenemos una oración aplicada no solamente con pronombres, sino también nombres propios. All right? Good, guys. Do you have any question up to now? Something that you don't understand that much? Algo que no comprendamos mucho todavía? O todo está claro? Everything is going okay? Mm, okay, teacher. Everything okay? Mm, okay, there you go. Si es que uno teacher, que... can ah. I leave the class for one moment, please? All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good. All right, people. So now, following up this structure, I want, let me see. I'm gonna check that how things out. Give me one second. I'm gonna clear up this one and I'm gonna put this one in blank. Okay, now, quiero que me colaboren con dos ejemplos. Uno sobre sus actividades, algo que ustedes no hacen en su trabajo y algo que ustedes no hacen en su casa. Okay, two, Listen up. Two examples about something that you don't generally do in your work and something that you don't do in your house. Okay? Let's do it. Cuando tengan dos ejemplos, me los, me los, me los hacen saber, okay? Tiene que ser Let's formal o informal. Puede usar do not or don't. Ahí es opción suya, okay? No Thank problem you. with that. Okay. There you go. Do not play. It's a war. <laughs> that might be one, okay. Take note about that. You can put up a I don't share memes when I am working. Oh <laughs> I don't spend time on Facebook in my job. I don't gossip with my coworker. Thank you significa gossip. I don't gossip with my coworkers. Really? You don't know what is gossip? How up today you are? Gossip like this. Como chisme. <laughs> exactly. Yo no chambreo con mis compañeros. There you go. Isabel, why are you laughing, Isabel? Ah. Okay, let's continue. If you have any question, if si tienen alguna duda or something, please just let me know, okay? Just let me know. Remember that I am here just to help you. ¿Cómo iba a ser el del trabajo? Eh, una actividad que usted no hace en su trabajo. Algo que usted no hace. O que no haría. Okay. All right. Y una que no hace o no haría en su casa. Right with the family, you know, something. Do, do no work in the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's one. I don't work in the house. Really? But doing the cleaning is a work. Man. Especially when you I live in the countryside. <laughs> My Mary. Ah. Uh, you mean you are married, uh, Marvin? Uh, yes. No, ah. Mary. Ah, okay, so you got a wife. You had children? 
one. I mean, that's nice. That's really cool. Two years old. I mean, it's, that's, that's big man. Okay, I got one. Yeah, I mean, I'm married too. But uh, uh, right now, I'm not like, you know, like with my wife. We're not together. She's, she's in another country right now. Uh, and I'm with my baby. And, and he is uh, yes. about, about, about 16 months old. I mean, that's, <coughs> that's nice. Good. Yes. Okay, if you have it, tell me. Dice, I do not dance in my house. Yeah, I know. I do not sleep in the work. <laughs> really? You don't sleep in the work? No la encuentran en el escritorio, así como que. No, no jefe, estoy no. pensando. Estoy pensando, jefe. <laughs> okay. You don't, you don't dance in your house? Why not? Uh, I teacher, your teacher. Okay, let's go. Thank you, uh, Liliana. I don't organize meetings in my work. Okay. And I don't dance in my house. I mean, it's pretty similar to the one that Liliana <laughs> said. <laughs> Te copiaron ustedes dos, ¿verdad? Ajá. No, no. <laughs> okay, okay, thank teacher. you. Thank you, Ana. Hey. There you go. Who's next? Me. I don't. Okay, first Leticia and then you, Miguel. Okay. I don't watch TV at home. Ah, okay, you don't watch TV at home. Good. I, uh, I don't clean at work. I don't clean at work. Okay, okay, good, good. I really, you don't watch TV in your house? I don't play. I don't play. Okay, good. All right. Uh, what about the next one, Marvin? Uh, don't play in my cell phone in the world. Ah, okay. Ah, you previously said, said the other one, right? I don't know. I don't use. What? I don't use my cell phone at work. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Okay. In my house. Ah, man, that's another one pretty similar to Leticia. Leticia also doesn't watch TV in the house. Okay, <laughs> good. Okay. Hey, man, son de los que no ven tele en la casa, man. That's... Me too, man, me too. <coughs> you know what? Something weird happens to me. Uh, when my, when my wife, when my wife was here, we bought a television. Because back in the past, we like watching television. Now, I, I am paying a service, uh, uh, an EPTV service, IPTV service. It's like, you know, channels online and everything. And I don't watch TV. I mean, I don't have time to watch TV. Real. I just pay it because of my, the person who takes care of my baby. But I don't watch TV. I mean, I don't have time. <laughs> to do it. I mean, that's crazy. Creo que desde que lo compré solo como dos veces he visto una película en dos partes. My God. And I got like, like a year, man. It's like, that's crazy. Anyway. Exactly. No, I mean, that, and that happens to me. I mean, ahora sí voy a ver una película, estoy libre de todo, man. Tipo diez, diez y media de la noche, man. So it's like... Al día siguiente, tipo cuatro de la mañana, así, ¿qué pasó? Y la tele encendida todavía. No hay pelos. De primero uno ve cinco películas en una noche y ya después necesita cinco noches para ver una película. Exactly, exactly. It's more. More than that. Okay. Good. Now, who's next? Uh, me. Me. 
<laughs> Miguel okay. and then Elizabeth. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and sorry. I don't receive personal calls in my work. Ah, okay. Good. Uh, I don't watch horror movies in my home. <laughs> For my daughter. What? For your daughter. <laughs> Yes. Ah, okay, good. I mean, there are people who, who don't really like those type of movies like that. Crazy. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Now, Elizabeth. I don't use my cell phone at work. I don't cook cook at home. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> I wish I could use my cell phone in my work. I, I, in my case, I would like to use the cell phone in the work right? for something, an, an emergency or something, but it's impossible, man. And not because I don't have it in my hand, but because I have a penal on the other side, so I don't have signal. Nothing happens. <laughs> okay, anyways. What a sad case. Exactly. Okay, Miguel. Uh, okay, I don't have a cell phone at work. 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 Okay, who's next? Thank you, Elizabeth, by the way. Uh, let me see. There, there are people who have not finished. Uh, uh, uh. Liliana? You read yours, right? Ya leyó la suya, ¿cierto? La primera fue el tercero. Okay, okay, there you go. Rafa, you haven't. Right? Hello, teacher. Um, um, sorry, teacher, <laughs> but and I will come uh, come back. Oh, you haven't done it, right? Okay, good. Yeah. I will give you a time for you to do it. Okay, no problem. I'm um, me, uh, teacher. Okay. Um, uh, you are. Let's go. Um, I don't... Uh, wash the dishes. I don't password the phone. Okay. Okay. Good. So, in una emergencia, no cuenten conmigo. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Let me see. Karim, have you read yours? I I don't stay late at work and I do not watch Netflix in the office. Ah, oh, and I don't ah, and I don't watch Netflix in my office. Okay, good one, good <laughs> one. There you go. I mean, Netflix me daba así como ñañara cuando la teníamos. Pasaba más tiempo queriendo escoger una, una serie o película que el tiempo que dedicaba para ver en sí la película o la serie. Eh. Anyways, thank you, Karim. Uh, okay. All right, who's next? Wilbert, did you participate already? I don't remember. One moment, teacher, one moment. Uh... Okay, okay, no problem. Let's try to finish. I'm going to tell Rudy. Hey, Rudy, have you finished? Because I don't remember if you participated already. Yes. Teacher. Okay. Um, I don't know. I do not eat door during work hours. Okay. And I don't play soccer inside my inside the house. Oh, okay. And you don't play soccer inside the house. Okay, good. Who tells teacher? I think he may have no. Oh. Okay, I didn't pay attention to that. Okay, who's next? Me, teacher. Okay, ah, Freddy. You haven't finished, right? Okay, yes, let's I go. Do, I don't cook at home. Mm -hmm. and I don't clean at work. Ah, you don't clean your work, okay. That one was pretty similar to, 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 to the one with Lillian, I think it was. Okay, but that's cool. That's cool. You don't clean Me, teacher. Work. Okay, let's go. Me, teacher. 
All right, Isabel. Okay. I don't leave for my work. I don't come home early. I don't, I don't come home early. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, I man, it's, it's okay. That's okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Menos mal, ahora no me ha salido nadie que dice, I don't take a shower in my house. Y yo, ah, okay. ¿Dónde se baña entonces? <laughs> okay. Good. Ah. Uh, who's missing? Who's like? I am in Rafa, you finish? Okay, teacher. Um I don't eat beets. And give I... me one second, give me one second. You don't eat what? Don't eat beets. Beet uh, remolacha. Ah yeah, man. Lava. You. And I was like, uh -huh. creí que decía frijoles, y yo así como, what? Eh, you don't like beans? No, beans, beans, <laughs> no, no, beans, I like it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, and yeah. the next one? Um, I don't drink um, coffee without sugar. Ah, okay, good. Ya iba, ya iba así como, eh, no le gusta el café, you don't like coffee? No, with, without sugar. Ah, okay, but a sugar. Uh, Is there a person in here who doesn't like coffee? Alguien aquí no le gusta el café. Me. Um, you don't like gusta. coffee. Espere, me la voy a sacar de la clase. <laughs> <laughs> okay, me la sé. Ya tengo really? como dos años que casi no tomo café. My God. I cannot stand a, 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 I mean, a, a time like that, man. I cannot live without coffee. <laughs> yes. I have five years. My sister knows how to live la vida. Es que para la gente estresada como nosotros, el café es la única y medicina que tenemos. Man. Bueno, in my case, yeah, man. But at least, at least you are not like my wife. Al menos no es, no es como mi esposa. Dice, no me gusta el café. Pero me gusta el olor del café. And I was like, yeah, well, that's, that's crazy. I mean, it's like, le gusta el olor, pero no le gusta el café. Man. Medio turbio, oh, wow. right? <laughs> okay. No. Uh, Wilbur, I'm done with you, mister. Ana, my Wilbur, I'm just walking. <laughs> okay. You got I, them? I was um, an emergency. Ah, okay. <laughs> Because... I tuve que salir. No problem. Just tell me two things yeah. that you don't do. That's yeah, so it. I don't, I don't drive at night. I don't drive, drive. I okay. don't drive at night. Okay. Okay. And I don't drink coffee because, uh, because, ¿cómo sería? Me lo prohibieron. Nah, it's prohibited. Me too, man. It's like because because uh, like cardio in English. Uh, you you got you got your heart beating faster, really? Yes. My God. No, porque lo extraño. Ah, okay. In that case, yes. no. Entonces no es porque no le guste, sino porque yeah, yes. you can't. Five years. Five years. Yeah. Really? Five years. No, yes. la única vez que tuve taticardia fue una vez que tomé un energizante medio raro. Like, yeah. really? Horrible. <laughs> Por, no, lección de vida, nunca tomen un energizante con hambre. <laughs> Never ever in your life. <laughs> o oh, van a querer, o oh, van a decir, ya estoy en el panteón. But anyways. Che, <laughs> usted así, hasta sí le decía la mano. <laughs> no, man, that's horrible, for real. <laughs> You know what? Y, y era antes de entrar a una, a una clase, ¿sí? una clase de dos horas también como esta. ¿sí? Like, one single class. Nadie nah, sentía que el corazón ya se me iba a salir. ¿sí? Yo dije, no, ya, ya vale. El teacher en lugar de decir la oración decía, hacer G, tu G, de G, ningún ojo. ¿sí? Exactly. <risa> exactly. <risa> no, nah, me daba crazy. Desde entonces no vuelvo a probar un energizante, ya llevo como tres años. <risa> Pero yeah. anyway. Lección de vida. But it was because I, I didn't eat before. 
right? Estaba acostumbrado a tomarlo, pero esa vez no había, no había almorzado todavía, eso hizo su efecto. <laughs> Anyways, so we were discussing, remember, about first person sentences in negative. Now we're going to go into third person negative statements. All right, just to make a short difference between them. All right. They both. Now, this is the structure that we got in here. What is the big difference in here? Uh, the big difference is that back in the past, we used to say, do not. In this one is, does not. Okay? That's the only difference. From do not becomes into does not. So that's what we got in here as different, okay? This structure, remember, it goes for he, she, it, and singular nouns, okay? Recuerden que cuando hablamos de singular nouns, hablamos de nombres propios, hablamos de nombres de lugar, eh, nombres de, de animales, or whatever thing, okay? que indique algo en singular. No necesariamente tiene que ser una, una persona en sí. Ok. So, let's take a look at a couple of examples that we got in here before uh, doing uh, one you by yourself. So, check this out. So, we got this one. Para -da 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 -da. Let me see who can help me out. Daniela, help me out reading this example. Oh, hello, teacher, ¿verdad? What? Ah, no, sí, ya. <laughs> no, si Se aquí, quedó congelado, teacher. Si aquí estoy con gran calorón. Uh, ah, really? <laughs> I got frozen. Me quedé congelado. <laughs> así pareció por un momento. <laughs> Se quedó tipo así. No, con, con, con tal no me hagan stickers, con eso basta. <laughs> ok, let's go. Let's go. No quedó chance que te parezca. Hey, no, es que a veces, a veces, back in the past, me toman una vez unas capturas. Teacher, le acabo de tomar una captura a la conversación que puso y a veces salgo con una cara que yo digo, juele, porque al menos avisen. Me desconozco. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. En okay. la otra clase teníamos una compañera que decía que, que eh, en la cámara, así ahorita nos vemos feos, pero en persona somos demasiado guapos. Entonces, ok. Este así como que sí, sí, claro, claro. <laughs> oh my God. Ok, good. Let's continue. Daniela, help me reading this example. Daniela, are you there? Um, she doesn't. She doesn't or she does not in this case, okay? Does not stand. She doesn't um, work. Uh, Daniela, uh, Daniela. Eh, okay. no, no se complique, léame el ejemplo que está ahí. Ah. Luego me va a decir uno usted. <laughs> She doesn't not send text messages. Messages, all right. She does not send text messages, okay? Okay. There you go, thank you. All right, so this is a very formal way to uh, say one negative statement using third person, okay? Recuerden, esta es una forma formal, por así decirlo, de... Eh, de una oración negativa en tercera persona. Esto, ¿en qué momento vamos a utilizar este tipo de oraciones? Básicamente en textos formales. Ya en el spoken English ya no se usa el do not para una conversación. Es más el o, o does not. Allá es más el don't y doesn't. ¿Ok? In a conversation. It's more fluent. Like the one I got in here. Freddy's, tell me a reading, please. Yes. He doesn't speak two languages. Okay, there you go. He doesn't speak two languages. There you go. 
Okay, remember he is the third person, you know, like, like the subject. Doesn't is the combination between does plus not. And then a speak, speak is the main verb, a verbo principal. And then two languages is the complement. All right, check this out. In here, I got a proper noun, all right? Uh, uh, uh. Carmina, help me out reading this one. Uh, Carlos does not read books. Okay, Carlos does not read books. Okay, so you see, in that case, we got does not. Oh, bien, lo podemos poner con doesn't. And we got no problem, all right? And we get another one over here. Isabel, help me out, please. Senia doesn't wash her clothes. clothes. Okay. Oh. Senia no, no. doesn't wash <laughs> her clothes. <laughs> clothes. Clothes. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Aquí aplica, aquí aplica la, la regla de no modificar el verbo, ¿verdad? Exactly. Porque ya tenemos el auxiliar que lo está, por decirlo así, modificando. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Recuerden que toda oración negativa que sea en presente simple, tanto en primera persona, plural, eh, tercera persona, bueno, más que todo en tercera persona, eh, en este caso se modifica el verbo. Recuerden que eh, el verbo principal, cuando es positivo, se tiene que modificar. Cuando es negativo, como en negativo, colocamos un auxiliar que por lo general suele ser ya sea el verbo to be o el auxiliar do, que en este caso sería does en tercera persona. Right? Más el not, ya creamos el doesn't, the one that we're watching in here. Entonces, y como ya tenemos este auxiliar que tenemos acá, over here, give me one second, the one that we got over here, so, because of this, ya no tengo la necesidad de modificar este, all right, por este doesn't, ya no tengo la necesidad de modificar este verbo wash, ahora bien, ah, pero si yo quiero crear una oración positiva, si yo quiero hacer esta oración positiva, Dice acá, Senia doesn't wash her clothes. Ahora bien, yo quiero crear esta oración positiva. All right, sencillo. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a eliminar primero? El doesn't. El doesn't. Ya no necesitamos un auxiliar. ¿Por qué? Porque en oraciones positivas no se necesita ningún auxiliar. Entonces decimos, Senia, wash. wash. Vaya, este es el verbo. Pero si se acuerdan, estuvimos viendo una de las reglas especiales. Que todo verbo que termina en SH, ¿qué sucede? Se le Al, el es. ES. El, ES. Exactly. So in here, I had the obligation to put ES in here. And then her clothes. And we got the positive statement in here. Interperson. Entonces acá ya el verbo se modifica porque no llevamos ningún tipo de auxiliar. All right. Entonces eh, creo que es algo que pues ya tenemos un tanto claro. Okay. Good. So let's continue. All right. Give me one second. This was the last one. Okay. Okay. Good. Ahora bien. Esta vamos a hacer algo simple. Tell me something that probably a person who lives with you doesn't do. ¿Ok? Quiero que me hagan un ejemplo con algo que alguien que viva con usted no hace. Ya sea su esposo, su esposa, su hermano, su hermana, su papá, mamá, whatever. All right? But mention it. ¿Ok? Pero quiero que mencionen a la persona. All right? If it is your father, ah, my father. If it is your mother, my mother. If it is your wife, my wife my husband, and then do the example, okay? Let's go. Algo que esa persona no haga en casa. Remember. Okay. Okay, perfect. Vamos a esperar. A Ready, compañeros. teacher. Perfect. Vamos a esperar a los compañeros que terminen, and then we're going to read everything, okay?
Se le decimos ahorita. Eh, esperemos a que los demás terminen, así de un solo. Eh, eh, empezamos, ¿ok? Ok, perfecto. So let's wait for your classmates to finish. My brother does not bathe the dog. My brother does not bathe the dog. Uh. Es que cuesta bañar a los perros. Yeah, man. Oh, oh. Okay, perfect. Yeah, man. Everybody has dogs, right? Yeah, man, it's difficult sometimes. En especial cuando no se dejan. Sí, man. I got one. La última vez que lo intenté bañar, casi me agarran las manos. Y como que, wow. Why? Why? Not... <laughs> Usted ponerle va a tener el Ah, nada, man. Y cuando lo terminé de bañar, que me tardé como 40 minutos, sale corriendo a revolcarse al patio. Pero... Quedó todo más sucio. Me dio así como que, what? No te vuelvo a bañar. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Dogs are like that. Exactly. Dogs are like that. Okay, I guess everybody has already finished. So I'm going to start with... Uh, who was the first one? You tell me that was... Anyways, I'm going to start with Elizabeth. Flores. Let's go, miss. Read your example. Um, my husband doesn't uh, uh, watch TV. Your husband doesn't watch TV? No. Why not? Uh, my husband watches uh, only Netflix, not TV. <laughs> in the computer. <laughs> ah, but in the computer. I mean, it's just, it's Netflix, not TV. TV. Pero puede poner Netflix en la tele. No, but that's okay, okay. Okay, I, I got you. No, in okay. the computer only. That's... Ah, okay. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There you go. Uh, thank you for your participation. Carmina, let's read yours. Okay, okay. Uh, my daughter doesn't watch TV. My mother wake up at a am. My mother doesn't wake up at 8 a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Carmina. Isabel. You got the microphone off. <laughs> um, my son doesn't pick up his dirty clothes. Clothes. And uh, my give me, son, give me one second. Give me one second. My son doesn't pick up his dirty, dirty, dirty. Uh -huh. clothes, clothes from hasta ahí la tenía. Uh, yes, ah, ah, okay, okay. Sorry, <laughs> que otra cosa. Pero había terminado. <laughs> okay, all right. My son doesn't pick up uh, his dirty clothes. I mean, how, how old is your son? Uh, nine years. What, nine years old? Your son? Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> I'm not the level you speak. I mean, I'm asking because you think that you have 20 tantos, something no. like that. <laughs> Gracias, gracias. No, no, for real, for real. No, no. Ok. <ríe> Por ahí dice, como en los forits. Ahí quedámonos, ya dejemos de contar. Jesus Christ, ok. Ok, good. Thank you for your participation. Contemos cuentos mejor. <ríe> Leticia, help me reading yours. My brother doesn't smile often. My brother doesn't smile often. Smile. Uh huh. Smile. 
Ah, okay. Often. Ah, okay. My brother doesn't smile often. Mm -hmm. My brother doesn't... Uh... Okay. All right. Good. Good. Thank you. Rafael. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, my wife doesn't like Chinese, like Chinese food. Like Chinese food. Okay, my wife doesn't like Chinese food. Okay, good. Okay, and my son doesn't drink coconut water. Water, really? He doesn't drink yes. coconut water? No. Man, that's um, weird. Don't like it. He doesn't like it? Um, no, yes, he doesn't. Me, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's super nice. Yes. Cara ahora, pero bueno. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Ah, one dollar. Yeah. One dollar. Exactly. Back in the past, it was uh, 50 cents. Um, yes. It was like back in the past. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, all right. All right. Perfect. Thank you for your participation. Now, Liliana. Let's go, Lili. Um, brother, this not drink cerveza. <laughs> Ah, you mean beer. <laughs> My brother doesn't drink beer, right? Ah, okay. Beer. B E E R. Beer. beer. Okay. Good. Only alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Liliana. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Miguel. Thank you. All right. My daughter doesn't wake up early. Okay, good. And my mother doesn't la live in my home. In my house. In my house. Okay. So yo ya no le escucho nada. Ya no se le escucha. No, no se le escucha. Como que estoy congelado. Otra vez. Ahí se ve. Ahí está, ahí sí. Okay. Now again. okay. Well, man, I just said uh, thank you for the participation, Miguel. <laughs> Qué raro. <man>. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. But anyways, uh, Karim, help me out with your example. Uh, yes. My sister does not like to cook. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she doesn't like to cook. Okay. Okay. To cook. Yes. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, I have my people like that. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Wilbur, what about yours, mister? Uh, my wife doesn't eat vegetables. My daughter doesn't speak in Spanish. Is that true? Really? Yes. Because she's studying English in Programa Superate. Well, I mean, that's great. How old is your daughter? Por eso estoy yo aquí, para entenderle. <laughs> I mean, that's excellent. That's nice. That's really cool. All right. I mean, that's, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, I mean, my idea with, in my case with my baby, it's like, uh, to grow him up with both languages, English and Spanish. Mm -hmm. My whole family, my family speaks to him in Spanish. Okay. But I do speak to him in English. And he understands, you know, somehow. So <laughs> I'm creating that environment for him. So at the moment I put him in, the, in an academy so he can, you know, like develop uh, the English like easier. In a very easy way. That's the idea. Oh, but okay. that's good, Mr. Okay. Thank good. you for your participation. Now, Evelyn. My 
my brother does not cook at home. Ah, okay. Your brother doesn't cook at home. There you go. Thank you. Marvin. <clears throat> my wife does not drink the coffee. Does does not drink coffee. Does not drink and coffee. Ah, okay. Y dicen que yo no sé vivir la vida. <laughs> <laughs> My wife don't, does not eat rice. Uh, what? She doesn't eat rice? Really? No. She doesn't like it? No, no le gusta. Me a ver que escuchar a que a alguien no le guste el arroz. Ah, that's that's yeah. good. Okay, well, that's that's incredible. All right, thank you, Marvin. <laughs> now, okay. Elizabeth. My brother doesn't wash dishes. Doesn't wash the dishes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. You wash the dishes? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Ni cuando anda enojado, se ah, hoy lava los bocos. No. Ah, okay. What a good sister you are. <laughs> okay, thank you for your participation. Now, Freddy's. My wife doesn't like rock music. Your wife doesn't like rock music. Oh. Likes uh, the body. Oh my God. Really? really? Oh, my God. Baby. <laughs> okay. All right. There you go. Rudy, what about you, mister? Um, my sister doesn't go to the fence. My sister doesn't go? Water the plant. Ah, okay, okay. It doesn't work in the plant. Okay, good. Thank you, Mister. Now, and the last one, Daniela. And my my brother doesn't wash dishes. My brother doesn't wash the dishes. Hmm. No sé, en alguna que me dijo alguien vestido de rojo. Mm, doesn't like. <laughs> okay, but anyways, okay, I'm going to take it as valid, okay? All right. Thank you, Daniela. Okay. okay. Good. Now, guys, now that, 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 that we have been doing that, eh, do, you, do you have any question with this topic? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esta estructura? Tanto primera plural como tercera persona. Something that uh, you don't understand as much or everything is okay? Is everything mm, okay? It's okay. It's okay, teacher. It's no. okay. I'm okay. Perfect. So now I want you to go over the manual. I'm going to stop sharing this presentation. And I want you to go to the manual. I'm going to share Okay. Here. Okay. This is what we got in here. It says grammar, part, simple, present, for third person, singular, and plural, negative statements. This thing is basically lo que hemos estado discutiendo. We have, you will find us a couple of uh, sentences in here in negative, in first and third person. Okay. So I want you to go over this page because what we're going to be sharing and expressing is going to be here, okay? This start. Eso es lo que vamos a estar haciendo. Dice, write six negative sentences about you and a colleague. Miren, pues vamos a ir a trabajar en parejas como hemos estado. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Si ustedes ven acá, hay seis horas, seis espacios acá, okay? What are we going to do? Pay attention to this. En los primeros seis espacios que encuentren, van a escribir seis actividades que ustedes no hacen, ya sea en casa, en su trabajo, whatever, all right? 
tip three, three things that you don't do personally, ¿ok? Si Rafa trabaja con Leticia, Rafa va a escribir sus primeras tres en uno, dos y tres ahí, y Leticia las de ella, uno, dos y tres. Luego Rafa lo que va a hacer es leerle sus tres a Leticia y Leticia en los otros espacios del 456 va a anotar lo que Rafa tiene como de él. ¿Qué quiere decir? Si Rafa dice, I don't take a shower en la oración 1 y se la lee a Leticia, Leticia en la parte del número 4 y del número Rafa, o sí, en este caso el nombre, Rafa doesn't take a shower. Easy as that, ¿ok? Y luego viceversa, Leticia le va a leer las, las de ella y Rafa las va a anotar, pero usando ya tercera persona. ¿Comprendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Do you understand what are we going to do? Yep. Okay, good. Yes, yeah. teacher. Perfect. This is this is like the one, the short that we're gonna be doing, okay? So I'm gonna stop sharing this part and I'm gonna send you to the breakout room. Give me one second. Just give me one second. Okay. Entering. Let's go to the breakout rooms and let's go in there. Hello. Uh, Dele aceptar para poder seguir al breakout room. Okay, so all of them have gone to work. So let's go and check. Ya terminé yo, usted. Yo me avisaba que iba a terminar. Okay. Y la segunda sería así. Vamos a voy a ver I ahí. Do not watch TV. Okay. Ya en tercera persona sería. Sí. She, uh, she doesn't. She doesn't. O Elizabeth doesn't para poder oh. identificar que es de Elizabeth. Ah, ok, piche. Yes. En el sí, mejor el nombre Exacto. de ella, entonces. Correcto. Okay. Aunque de las dos maneras okay, estaría bien. Cambiar. Sí, de las dos maneras, pero como cuando me las esté leyendo, si no me dice, ah, estoy hablando de Elizabeth, no voy a saber de quién es. Okay. <risa> correcto. Es correcto, es correcto. Si se une al banco. Ok, Elizabeth. Aquí sería igual. Elizabeth Dustin Play Soxo. Okay. 
Diana. ¿Cómo me dijo? I don't not play soccer. Soccer. I don't I don't drink beer. 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 I don't drink. Ajá. Uh -huh. Beer. Ya, yeah. sí, ahí Leticia, supongo beer. que usted está poniendo Rudy doesn't drink beer, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Perfecto. Eh, la última sería I don't not eat garlic. Sí, sería verdad. Sí, I ¿verdad? don't like sí, dormir esta tarde. I don't like to sleep late. Okay. Until late. Si es hasta tarde, sería until late. Until así. Until late. ¿Cuál sería la pronunciación? Porque si dice eh, uh, uh, I don't like to sleep late es como ah no me gusta dormirme tarde significa en la noche que ya se va a dormir a altas horas de la noche se malinterpretaría ahí la, el mensaje. Sería como I don't like to sleep o I don't sleep until late. I, I don't sleep Ah, okay. Late. Ahí lo escribí en el, en el chat de Zoom. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. Um, voy, te voy a brindar la, la mía. Eh... Nobody's here. What happened with, with these people over here? Okay, nobody's here. Let's move here. Vale, si quieren, le digo, le digo las mías. Y usted me dice. Okay. Ah, pero las vamos a copiar en el cuadro. Usted va a copiar. Ajá. Sí, así es. Vale, I don't dígamela, cook. Dígamela, dígamela. I don't, I don't cook uh, on Sunday. Repeat, please. I don't cook on Sunday. Ah, qué chivo, los domingos no come. <risa> no, diga, los domingos son para salir de paseo, diga. Es correcto, <risa> no hago cenas los domingos. Exactly, exactly. Pupusas. Pupusas, deliciosas pupusas. Wow. I don't work on Saturday. Ah, lucky you don't, you don't work on Saturdays. Work, work, work. On Saturday. Saturday. Saturdays. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't leave for my office. Leave? Leave, no, leave. Sí, ta, uh, tarde, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ah, late. Late. Late, late perdón. Late. late. No se doesn't late. Late. late for my office. No, 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 give me one second. Le falta el verbo ahí. Late no es un verbo. Okay, Vaya. I don't wait. ¿Cómo sería? ¿Qué, qué, qué, me, qué, me, qué, qué está queriendo decir ahí? Eh, que no llego tarde a mi oficina. Ah, uh, I don't... Ahí puede ser late. arrive o get late. Get arrive, late. Arrive late o get late. I don't arrive llegar, late. Llegar tarde. Exactly. No llegar oh, tarde. I don't get late to the office. Cualquiera de los dos verbos es I correcto. Sí, porque okay. ahí nos falta el verbo. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces se le dice I arrive don't o, o get, get, cualquiera de los get dos. late. Uh -huh. get, get late. Get uh -huh. late. Get late. Uh -huh. Late. For my office. To the office. Sería más, oh, yeah. más práctico. Ok. The office. Ok. The office. Ok. I don't like sleep in my office. I don't like sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't lunch in my house. Uh, I don't have lunch. 
I don't have, have I don't. I don't no have tomo. lunch. Sí, es que have lunch es una expresión para decir eh, almorzar. Ok. Ah, have, sería... have, have, have lunch. Have lunch. Ah, I don't have lunch. lunch. Lo pensé, pero lo dudé. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now you got it there. I don't hey. watch. Ah, ok, go. I go. And your, and your, perdón, eh, me dijo, I, I don't, don't have, have lunch mm -hmm. in my house or in my in my home house yeah. or, in or my home. house in my house in my house okay I don't have eh, 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 algo que quiero que, que siempre les quede acá nunca se mm -hmm. nunca se dice in my home e esa expresión uh, no es correcta at, at home at home es esa sí es correcta okay uh -huh. at podría home. ser entonces lunch at at home at home correct only that only correct. that home. exactly i don't watch movies in my work that's work d verdad works works work. that's okay ahora <laughs> All right, now I wait for you in the main room, okay? Okay. I need to sure. listen to you guys before you okay. leave. Okay. okay. Ah, por ser las dos que estaban acá, eh, ustedes no van a ser las primeras en que me van a leer sus oraciones. And I'm talking about Elizabeth Flores de Perilla. I have no problem, teacher. Exactly. That's, that's the attitude. Perfect. Tell me, what are... Vamos a hacer algo. En este caso, nada más léame las de Evelyn y Evelyn me va a leer las suyas. Let's go. Okay. She doesn't swim in the beach. She doesn't play basketball. She doesn't play video game. Ah, okay. Very good. Now, Evelyn... What about okay. Elizabeth's one? Elizabeth doesn't drink orange juice. Okay. Elizabeth does not wash the clothes. Elizabeth does not. Elizabeth doesn't watch the clothes. Ajá, uh -huh, really? Okay. No. Okay. Sí, se escuchó. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> es que se fue la señal. Sí, sí. And the la last última one? es Elizabeth does not clean the home. En este caso sería the house. The house. Es la más apropiada en ese caso, ¿ok? But the rest is correct, ¿ok? Thank you, Evelyn, and thank you, Elizabeth. Ok, good. Karim, who are you working with? Eh, me tocó con Liliana. Ok, léame las tres de Liliana. Eh, Liliana doesn't not play soccer. Liliana doesn't not exercise. Uh, uh, give me one second, give me one second. Read that one again. Leame esa de nuevo. Liliana does not exercise. Ahí, le, ahí falta, falta un verbo. Liliana does not or doesn't do exercise. Do exercise. Correcto. Mm. Y la otra es Liliana doesn't not scrap. Doesn't know. Scrap. No pelea, me dijo ella. Ah, va, mire, para pelear, o sea, pelearse con alguien. You, you talk about that, right? Eso sí no me lo especificó ella. Eh. Uh, is that, is, is, is that's, that's what she says, Elizabeth? Porque si es así, sería fight, así como se lo acabo de escribir acá. Yeah, fight. Doesn't oh, fight. Fight. Ah, pelea. Exactly. 
Mm, ajá, sí. Sí me dijo ella, pelea. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. There you go. Thank you, thank you for your participation. Now, veanme las tres de Karim. Eh, dice, Karim does not kill Chelsea. No come mariscos. Mariscos, seafood. Eat Chelsea. Doesn't it? Uh, actually, actually, there is seafood. Okay, let's go. Me escucha, no sé si le corta a usted o al mío, no sé si lo veo congelado. Uy, peligroso. Estoy congelado, people. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Descongelado. <laughs> All right, let's go, Lilian. La otra. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Dice, Karen, this up like to read. No lo sé leer. Ah, doesn't like to read, okay. Y Karen does not to the swimming. Un poco nada. No, no, no. Que no nada. No le gusta nada. <laughs> ah, vaya. Entonces sería más o menos así, me. No, 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 no. Doesn't like like this. Uh, give me one second. Is Karim? Yeah, Karim. We is like this. Uh, like this. Karim doesn't like swimming. Like that. Okay. All right. Okay. Just modify that part. Okay. Thank you, Liliana. Thank you, Karim. You did it excellent. Now, Elizabeth. Who were you working with? I don't I don't remember. Miss Katota, I'm talking about you. <laughs> um, me tocó con Ana. Ah, okay. Let's go. Let's read the Ana's sentences. Ana doesn't get up early. Okay. Ana doesn't cook dinner. All right. Ana not watch TV at 9 a.m. Doesn't watch TV at 9 a.m., okay. Good, good, thank you. Ana, read hers. Okay. Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth doesn't use her cell phone at work. Okay. Elizabeth doesn't watch TV. Elizabeth doesn't go to parking very often. Ah, okay. Doesn't go to the park very often. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. Awesome. All right. Good. What happened, Elizabeth? Niña de casa, no salgo fiesta. Ah. Ajá. Difícil de creer, pero. Es cierto. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go, Wilder. Read your classmates' sentences. Okay. Uh, Ma Mary doesn't cook in, on Sunday. Ah, yeah. And Mary doesn't work uh, on Saturdays. All right. And Mar Mary doesn't get, get late to the office. Ah, okay. Very good. Isabel. Sure. Well, Javier doesn't doesn't sleep in his office. Mm -hmm. Javier doesn't have lunch at home. Okay. Javier doesn't watch movies and work at work. At work, okay, good. I mean, Wilbur, just just to be sorry to be nosy, but Javier is a last name. No, name? It's, it's, it's name. Ah, uh, okay. So you got three names. Okay. Yes. Ah, oh, man, you're you're like pretty similar to Liliana. Okay. Yes, for Leo. Oh. Interesting. Liliana okay. Liliana for Leo. Exactly. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's go. Uh, Rafael. Okay. Um, Freddy doesn't call to clients. All right. Uh, Freddy doesn't send reports daily. 
Okay. Freddy doesn't participate in activities his company. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, is Freddy, is he cool? Hey, vamos a ir a la playa. No. No. Sí, vamos a ir a jugar. No. Exactly. <laughs> Es que, es que ya casado a uno no le dan permiso, Freddy. Yo creo que eso es. Ay, es que no quiero. Exactly. Ok, Freddy. Read Rafa's sentences. Rafa doesn't eat bloody sote. Rafa doesn't like Chinese food. And Rafa doesn't do exercise. Ok, good. Ay, mira, así especiales somos que hasta la flor nacional nos comemos. No, yo no, yo no. La <laughs> ok, ok. Me too, me too. Ok, thank you to you, Bob. Uh, now, Miguel. Ok. Um, um, Marvin doesn't like sleep until late. Um, he doesn't like reggaeton music y he doesn't like macaroni. Doesn't like? Doesn't like macaroni. Oh, he doesn't. Macarrones, macarrones. It's like a spaghetti, right? It's the same thing. Uh, um, spaghetti. Yeah. It's a kind of pasta. Spaghetti. Like, yeah, <laughs> spaghetti. Yes, spaghetti. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Thank you. Marvin, read the Miguel's sentences. Miguel, he doesn't dance, dance, like rock music. Okay. Miguel, he doesn't, I have, I have cat, cats. Okay, Miguel doesn't have cats. Sí. Okay. Mi, Miguel, he doesn't live in San Salvador. Okay, Miguel doesn't live in San Salvador. Okay, good, good. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. All right, bye bye. Let me see the last one. Rudy, who are you working with? Um, I don't remember. Um, Maria Leticia, me parece. Yes. Sí, Maria Leticia. You you participate. You you haven't participated, right? Okay. Maria. Maria doesn't like the room. Maria doesn't like lies. All right. And Maria doesn't like a beer. You mean beers? Beer. Ah, ah, okay, okay, okay. Good. Now, switch. Rudy doesn't play soccer. Rudy doesn't drink beer. Rudy doesn't eat garlic. <laughs> okay, garlic. Garlic is good, pero cuando salen en sopas, uh, not that good. Okay. Es mejor crudo. Mientras no lo más que. Es la papita que sale. Exactly, man. Oh my God. Okay. All right, people. Uh, thank you for staying uh, right up to late uh, with uh, with this activity. By tomorrow, we will be finishing uh, this first week. Okay, que rápido pasa el tiempo. La mañana terminamos la primera semana. So by tomorrow, deberían de estar las cinco primeras actividades eh, de la plataforma culminadas antes de medianoche. Recuerden eso, okay? Uh, I, I would like you to help me with that, people, and I will appreciate that a lot, okay? uh sorry about the posting i i told you in the in the comments part pero no sé por qué no se me grabó el el el, el comentario que había puesto en la sección de de, de discussion ok me voy a cerciorar ahora en la noche de que sí quede el el discussion topic eh, para que, eh, que que sea como una extra practice para ustedes ok y lo voy a mandar al grupo para que ustedes igual puedan puedan ver y que ahí está ok and you can give your opinions about, about these things. Okay, so I'm going to pass the attendance list, and that's going to be everything for tonight, people. Give me one second. Uh, Ana Carmina. Present teacher. All right, good. Uh, Augusto Cesar. Augusto. Okay, I guess he's not here. Like, 
a Carlos Ernesto. He didn't show up tonight. Elizabeth Joana. Present. Ah, okay, good. Evelyn Jamilet. Present. Ah, okay, perfect. Freddy Eliseo. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Freddy Ernesto, creo que él no va, no va a tomar el curso. Iris Daniela. I think she left. Uh, Jacqueline Janet. All right, creo que tampoco va a tomar el curso. Karim Janet. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, Liliana Laura. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Liz. All right, uh, Maria Isabel. Present. Okay, give me one second. I'm just gonna stay with someone right now. Give me one second, people. Elizabeth, Joanna. Where's Elizabeth? Ya me quedé con usted, ¿verdad? En, los, en el feedback, Elizabeth. No? No. We haven't. Sí, es que como Carlos is not here, entonces nos quedaríamos ahora, ¿ok? Sí. Ok, perfect. Uh, wait for me until, until I finish the attendance list, please. Ok, let me see Liliana Laura. María Isabel is here. María Leticia. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Marvin Oswaldo. Marvin, Marvin, I think he left already. Ok, Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Ok, Rafael Alejandro. Present teacher. Ok, good. Uh, Rudy Alexander. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ok, Wilber Francisco. Present teacher. All right, and the last one, Wilson Hernaldo, which is not here. Ok, people, it was a pleasure to have you here. All right, and I wait for you uh, tomorrow in the last video conference from week number one, okay? Good night, people. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good See night. you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. Good night, classmates. Good night. Bye. 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 Okay. Elizabeth. It's pretty weird. No me contestaron. Eh. No me contestaron todavía el mensaje, pero supongo que lo van a hacer mañana durante el día. Eh, porque a usted no le han llamado, ¿verdad? Ni nada por el estilo. No, es que, no. bueno, me han caído llamadas, pero como he estado en el trabajo, no he podido contestar. Yes, sí, pero aquí están reportadas de que, de que eh, la última vez se comunicaron con usted, pero que usted les había comentado que eh, sí estaba mal de, mal de salud. Pero, sí, eh, eso les había, les había dicho. Y este, okay. ahora estaba revisando ese correo, pero mm -hmm. me lo mandaron, quiero ver, el 28, antier, antier mm -hmm. me cayó ese correo, y me decía que había estado de baja. Sí, está raro porque, ah, aquí nada más menciona, le me sí. Menciona que se encuentra bastante mal de salud, pero se le sigue eh, instando para que pueda asistir a las clases. Que esto fue sobre el viernes, porque usted el jueves estuvo en clase. Sí, pero el viernes este, no pude estar porque como tenía bastante fiebre. ¿no? That's correct. Y este, por eso marcado. no pude estar. Yo creo que a lo mejor ha sido algún error que han tenido y, y se le va a restablecer, pero... Eh, Puede, 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 hacer un, puede hacerme un favor, puede entrar a la plata, tratar de entrar a la plataforma. Para sí, ver. antes de la clase este, entré y me apareció la tarea 1. Ah, o sea que sí le aparece. Le aparece la tarea 1 en everything. Sí. Le aparece el módulo, porque eh, según lo, el mensaje que, que le llegó, que me mandó usted. De que ya no podía entrar. Mm. Algo así, este, entendí yo en el mensaje. Give me one second, sí, porque es que está raro, es weird. 
Let me see. Porque quiero sí. ver, voy a entrar ahorita. I've la... been on a roll from Principal. You have been on a roll from by a member of the course staff. This course will no longer appear in your online dashboard. Your other courses have not been affected. This email was automatically sent from online in this corporativo.net to Elizabeth Joana. Pero esto se lo enviaron así en inglés. Sí. Es que por lo general no se envía información así. Porque si mm. toda la información que suele llegarle a usted, por lo general suele ser en español. ¿Correcto? Sí. Pero voy este, a investigar. Pero me, dos, de hecho dos este, correos iguales me llegaron el 28. Mm -hmm. Y es básicamente de online.inglescorporativo.net. Quiero ver. Solo, solo dice online y en la foto aparece inglés corporativo. Voy a investigar eso porque si, eh, o sea, según este mensaje usted ya no... Ya no debería tener en la ya no debería tener en la plataforma el módulo 2. Debe de ser algún error del sistema o algo por el estilo, que por eso es que eh, le aparece así, pero igual ya, ya envié un mensaje a los a los a, a, a soporte y, y pues ellos se van a comunicar con usted eh, si algo pasa o me van a comunicar a mí, yo le hago saber a usted, pero si todo está bien con lo de la plataforma, no hay ningún problema. Si puede, sí, si acabo, es, acabo de entrar ahorita en la plataforma y en la tarea 1, en la primera es I in the morning. Sería la primera que está ahí. Give me one second. Exactly. Ahí está. Ah, entonces sí puedo. My boss, yes. la número dos, my boss, emails every day. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí. Entonces sí tiene acceso. Porque según eso, usted no tenía, ya, ya, no, iba, ya no le iba a aparecer el módulo. Le iba a aparecer uh -huh. el módulo uno que cruzó, pero ese ya, 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 ya culminó. Entonces está raro eso. Está súper raro. Pero como le digo. Entonces sí, ver, sigo en las clases. Y todo, normal. Okay. Mientras no, no le llame, es que para un, un, a, algo así no simplemente le van a enviar un mensaje, sino que le van a llamar, le van a decir. Aparte okay. de que no, 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 no se puede remover a alguien así específicamente, a menos que de, de su empresa llamen y digan, no, ella ya no va a participar en esto y lo otro y ya, finaliza. Pero ni aún así, o sea, eh, okay. vamos comenzando, no, 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 no se puede hacer eso, entonces... Pero igual le voy a mantener comunicada con relación a, ese, a eso, porque sí está, está medio rarito eso. Okay. Sí, gracias. Ah, there you go. Uh, related to the, the class, uh, everything is okay. Do you understand everything with the class? Uh, eh, vamos bien hasta ahora. No sé si ha podido eh, ver lo de los temas anteriores. Si hay algo en lo que le sí. pueda ayudar para lo de las tareas o... No, todo está claro. He estado viendo las clases así, aunque sea grabada. Ahora las estuve viendo para estar al tanto de los temas. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces, uh -huh. sí, porque ya para mañana sí ya, eh, me gustaría que ya estuvieran las cinco primera, las primeras tareas, porque como ese reporte yo tengo que enviarlo después de clase o antes de la medianoche tengo que enviarlo eh, con sus notas. Entonces, sí, no me gustaría que vaya a ir una mala nota ahí. O sea, o sea ahí ya Sí, está bien. La tarea 1 hasta la tarea 5, ¿ok? Ok. Para poder estar al día. Y créame, no va a tener, no va a tener inconveniente alguno con relación a esto. Ok. okay. Y espero okay. que poco a poco se vaya sintiendo mejor y pues pueda estar ya en todas las clases que nos faltan, ¿ok? Sí, thank you. Ok, cool. Entonces, bueno, si no hay nada más que agregar, la dejo descansar. Nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Good night, Miss. All right. Bye, bye.